What is cracking YouTube? It is Crypto NWO here, back at it again with another video. Now in this video, I'm doing something that I never really done before on this channel. I'm gonna be buying a mystery box off the dark web. The reason why I'm doing this is because, you know, Crypto NWO, paying Bitcoin to buy some stuff off the dark web. Crypto NWO, paying in Bitcoin to buy some stuff off the dark web. You can kind of see a matchup over there. Now I placed this order around two, three weeks ago. And the reason why I'm making this video today is because the package is finally out for delivery. It's gonna be here in any minute, any hour, any second. God knows when it's gonna be here. But for the past two weeks, Weeks after I placed the order, I've been really, really, really excited for this to come in the mail, you know, so I can finally make this video. But the fact that it's actually out for delivery today is kind of worrying me because, you know, it's really about to go down. Uh, I'm kind of worried because, you know, I've been watching tons of YouTube videos about this type of stuff. And a lot of people in the comment section from those YouTube videos are saying, hey, don't shake the box like that. There could be some explosives. Hey, don't put your hand inside the box without any gloves. There could be some needles. So it got me a little worried. I have to go prep up because I don't have any of these uh, safety materials. I got to go to the dollar store and make sure that I'm here by the time the package arrives. I don't know if they need my signature or not. For people that don't know what the dark web is, the dark web is basically like, if you picture the internet in your head, you picture Facebook, you picture Google, you picture Twitter, Instagram, picture that in your head and picture 400 times that size. All of those people are using the dark web. At first, I thought that this doesn't make a lot of sense because you know, Instagram is huge, Facebook's huge, YouTube is huge, Twitter is huge, all of these social networking sites are huge. But never forget also that crime is also huge. So a lot of the crime happens online. You know, people are selling a lot of drugs, People are selling a lot of guns. People are hiring hitmen on the internet. It's absolutely crazy. It's a real place. You cannot access it with Google Chrome. You can't just go on Google Chrome and type in, hey, access dark web or where can I find the dark web? You actually have to use a specific browser for this, the Tor browser. You have to make sure everything is secure. Your IP address is blocked. It's better to use a VPN, which I am using. I, I was really excited when I did it, but I'm... <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this right now. I really don't know. The worst that could happen at this point is like, I don't know about explosives. If it was across the border, like I don't know if the guy sent it to me from Canada. I don't know if the guy sent it to me from Europe, from China, from India, Pakistan, Israel. Like, I don't know where this guy sent this package from. So if it had to cross borders, I'm pretty sure that they would do a certain checkup if it had any explosives in it. I don't know. I don't, I'm not worried about explosives. I'm worried about insects. I am worried that if I open like a container or something, there is going to be like a thousand spiders inside there. That is my my biggest fear a thousand spiders or a thousand like disgusting insects I I'm a man I know but nobody wants to see that we're gonna go right now get some safety materials and I'll keep recording when the package comes in the mail so I can do the unboxing right in front of you guys make sure I get all of it on camera stay tuned huddle gang huddle gang huddle gang all right so good news the package has finally arrived in the mail it's kind of heavy it's kind of big but let's get this let's get this unboxing on the road. All right, so let's get this started. Got some scissors, got some gloves on for extra protection. The reason why um, I'm kind of worried about even opening the box is because on YouTube, I've seen a lot of other people open their box and people put razor blades attached to the tape. So, you know, I'm a little smarter than that. We're gonna just peel it off very gently. I'm gonna make sure there's no razor blade on the tape. So far, I don't see anything, so that's good. I already ripped my glove. Okay. <laughs> So I was a little paranoid. There's no razor blade on the tape. All right, so um, the first thing I can see when I open this box up is uh, there's a lot of gift wrap. A lot of, uh, I don't know if this is what kind of, just wrapping paper, bubble wrap, sticker. So the first thing, there's a bag. All right, so we're gonna open this bag now. If you guys, I don't know, you guys can't smell this right now, but picture like the nastiest public restroom you guys have ever seen. And that's what this box smells like. Multiply that by like four. That's what this box smells like. Even though it's like nicely wrapped, everything nicely wrapped, there's something in here that just smells bad. Um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna take out, I see really weird things in here, but, oh my God. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna take out, I don't know what this is. Literally looks like a piece of, like a chandelier light. Something that attaches to a chandelier, you know? I see a paper over here. We're not gonna read any paper because maybe it's not gonna make a lot of sense. Oh.
What are these things called? I've seen these before. Sock monkeys? Yeah, well, this sock monkey over here, this is creepy. Well, this sock monkey, uh, it's tied. Someone tied it around the neck and tied around the arms. And there's this metal wire attached to the back. It's tied around his neck. And there's a metal wire attached to that tie. I don't know, that's very creepy. I'm kind of weirded out. I'm, I'm glad that there's no explosives. It looks like just a bunch of junk, to be honest. Um, we have a belt. We have a belt over here from like the 1800s. <laughs> Yo, this is like, hold on, let me just show you guys. That looks like a really old belt. Oh. We have these things that like girls wear. I don't know what these are called, but very creepy. These are the things that you wear when you're going to sleep. If you want to have a nice sleep, that's kind of creepy. I mean, it's not creepy. Like if you just buy this from the dollar store, that's not creepy. But when you're opening up a mystery box and you see a blindfold, I don't know what to think of that. Next, um, oh, Swisher Sweets. <laughs> what the hell? It's full. <laughs> this guy sent me blunts. Oh my God. Swisher Sweets. They're full. They don't, they don't smell good. Yeah, I outsmarted you. I'm not gonna be using these. I'm gonna be throwing these in the garbage. I mean, they smelled really weird. I don't know, I, I've, I've smelled Swisher Sweets before. That does not smell like Swisher Sweets. What the hell? Oh, we have a bracelet with Jesus on it. Mary, Jesus on the cross. That's nice, I like this. I like this, I'll put that aside. <clears throat> oh my God. Oh my God, a Pringles container. Guys, this is exactly what I was worried about. Exactly what I was worried about is inside here. <laughs> For the video, we're gonna do it for the video, but I kind of want to do this outside. It sounds like chips crumbs, to be honest. I'm, 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 I'll save this for later. I'll save this for later because I want to open that outside. That's exactly what I was worried about. There was a YouTube video where someone opened a container and it was filled with ants. I mean, ants aren't bad, but like, who's trying to have their house filled with ants? A cord? Oh, it's not a cord. It's just a long shoelace tie ca paracord i don't know what these are i don't know what this is it has tape around it i'll unwrap it later maybe there's something inside tds meter hold a tds meter if, i don't know what a tds meter is but if you guys know what that is just put it in the comment box below doesn't work on and off yeah, no, this doesn't work. TDS meter. We have a little box over here. Sounds like something's expensive inside there. It's on the top of the box, it says all, and then an arrow. She, all she, all she had. Okay, it says, I'll, I'll show you guys. It says all, and it says an arrow to point down. And then it says she, and then an arrow pointing to the right. And then if you turn it to the right, it says had, and then another arrow to the right. And that's what it says next. Now that's kind of creepy. Um, there's a note. Oh, <laughs> this guy played Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Unstable evolution. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I think he's trying to tell me something. Three plus eight equals 11. Ha ha ha. I wrote this on 080518. <laughs> it literally says three plus eight equals 11. Ha ha ha. I wrote this on 0805 This looks like a cabinet handle, a handle for a cabinet. I think that's what it is. Or, yeah, looks like a one, one that goes in a bedroom. A screwdriver. 
screwdriver. Oh, we didn't open up the box. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ew. 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 <laughs> Ew. It's disgusting. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but this smells nice. It smells really, really, really nice. I'm scared that I'm like something from it, like fumes or something is gonna make me faint. No, that smells really, really, really nice. I wanna see what this is after. There's a penny in here. Two thousand and six. Okay, this one's weird. This one it has a recycled sticker. It says hang dead. Don't say a word. Sleep easy. Sleep easy. A star and I'll never tell. Yeah, this one's creepy. cardboard it has like these weird slits cut into it. it has a number one inside for some odd reason that's all a card case a card case There's a couple more other things in here Pen that works. I'll need this. Oh, I thought this was another pen. This is a knife, an exacto knife that doesn't go back down. And it's dirty as hell. I don't know if you guys can see that. I know the camera is a little far right now. I'll try zooming in in post editing, but what the hell? It's a dirty ass knife that doesn't go back in. Don't know why they sent me this, but. I'm worried if I plug this in, it's gonna burn my house down. Oh, we have a Zippo lighter in here. No way. Oh. This guy thinks he's a magician, eh? Putting empty Zippo cases inside there and filling it with, with a shoelace. It's a shoelace, wow. Thanks, bud. Pair of pliers. Hey, you know, I think I might need these. The pliers that I have, like, they, they're like pride shut. You have to like uh, open it like that and shut it like that. But these ones are like, yeah, look, it works. Nice. Thanks for the pliers, whoever sent this. These are um, one of those locks they use for apartments. Really, really, really bad apartments that have these locks. Many ways to bypass this, but... I don't know why it was sent to me. It looks really clean. It actually looks like it hasn't been used yet. Whatever that, oh, a laser 301. He sent me a laser with a key. You have to put a key into this laser. Oh, no way. Oh my God, it, it burnt a hole inside my glove. Burnt a hole inside my glove. Right there. This guy sent me a laser pointer. I wonder how far this goes. Yo, that, that's nice. Thanks, man. A bunch of a deck of cards. A deck of cards. What? Oh, oh. I think whatever. You put a bunch of cards to tape. Maybe he's trying to put these numbers in order. Three, nine, six, three, nine, wait, three, nine, six, three, nine, five, two, seven, four, two, four. I'll save this for later. Maybe that's important. The heck is this? Looks cool. Oh, capacity 21 mAh. Oh, this is a portable cell phone charger. Oh, that's cool. You know, you can get these at the dollar store, but that's pretty cool. What the heck is this? <laughs> They're earphones. They're wireless earphones. 
I kind of don't want to put these in my ear, but they're true wireless earphones. Oh, that's so cool. I'm saving that. Drill bit. No idea what... Oh! Yeah, <laughs> that's for the, the lock, the latch thing. Okay, so they sent me the whole set. Thanks, man. More cord. A pen. Orange. That works. Wonderful. Oh, there's a key in here. All right, we got a key. Maybe there's, maybe that's for the laser pointer. No chance, that's way too big. Yeah, no, he didn't send me the key for the laser pointer, but that key might go for something else. All right, so that's all inside that box. Oh, something fell. Swiss Deluxe Dark 72% Cocoa. Oh, this is chocolate, dark chocolate, disgusting. And now we're gonna open up the letter. Letter, Z, letters. Okay, this one says, kill. This one says, stop, stop, please. This one says, love you, LV, with a heart. Don't know who LV is and I kind of don't want to know. Oh my goodness. Oh my god that is a big ass knife thanks for safely putting it in the bag but i don't want to know what that knife has been used for man this messy right now oh there's a bible in here a holy bible a holy bible thank you a bible with the letter g on it god master mason edition Presented to Brother Chris Coles, the NWMP Lodge Number 11, A and F. Yo, there's writing inside this book. It's a Freemason Bible. Initiated June 20th, 2006, passed September 26, 2006, raised October 24th, 2006. Name. Chris Cole, officers, lodge number, worshipful master, and there is a signature. There is a signature under worshipful master. All right, so my camera died right when I was reading the Holy Bible, the Masonic Bible. But um, after I found the Masonic Bible, I ended up opening this over here. It was just like a little plastic wrap, it had tape on it. And a whole bunch of pills spilled into the box. Now I need everyone to tell me what kind of pill these are. Um, they're brown circular pills, small, and they have the letter S on them. I'm going to be doing some Google searches after and just figuring out what these are, but brown circular small pills that have the letter S on them. Uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to show these onto YouTube, but that's what they are. All right. Now there's a second bag and I think that's all. Oh, okay. We have rosary. Oh, they sent a rosary. I think this person believed in God. That's a good thing. This is a good thing. But there's a bunch of other creepy stuff in here that I kind of don't, um, I don't really know the meaning of. Micro USB. A really small micro USB. Might come in handy. Yo, I haven't seen this in years. Guys, a, play <laughs> a PlayStation 2 8 megabyte memory card. A PlayStation 2 8 megabyte memory card. When I was a kid, 8 megabytes, I guess, was a lot of storage. Yo, if anybody had this, who remembers the struggle of... I want to see what games are on here. I don't have a PS2 anymore. But who remembers the struggle of, like, you have so many games saved and you had to, like, figure out which data you wanted to delete before you wanted to save your new game? Oh, man. The PlayStation 2 8 megabyte memory card. That's classic right there. I wonder what's on that. A metal... Does anyone know what this is? If anybody knows what this is, just please leave this in the comment box because I don't know what this is. It looks like a bunch of... I have no idea what this is. Looks pretty cool. It's kind of heavy. Has a little bit of weight on it. Oh, a key. Another key. A small key. It fits. It's like the same size. Just doesn't go inside. It's literally like the same size key. 
Oh, it's turning it. It's literally turning it. Look. Turn off. On. Off. <laughs> this has a key. It has a bigger key too, a circular key that doesn't fit anywhere on here. It's attached to it. That's interesting. This is the laser pointer and the Masonic Bible are the most interesting things that I've received. He sent me an iPhone. He sent me a busted up iPhone. An iPhone plastic back, sick. iPhone 5C, iPhone 5C plastic back. A white iPhone 5C. Very interesting. Oh, he sent me another one of those uh, chandelier things. Tweezers, he sent me tweezers. We have millions of those in the house, we don't need that. Um, Allen keys, I think these are called Allen keys. He gave me, I don't know what size Allen key. If anybody knows what this is, it looks like a whistle. It has that little, it has that little curve on the bottom as if it's a whistle, but I, I kind of don't want to put my mouth on this because that's just asking for trouble. But it looks like a whistle, a, a silver whistle. And there's a bunch of BB pellets in here. Silver BB pellets. I think that's all. That's all. Oh, there's one more thing. A couple more things. A battery, 4200 MAH, lithium ion, no, me no memory effect, low recording operation cost. I don't know what battery this is for. I've never seen a battery. I've never seen anything like this in my life. I know triple A's, double A's, I've never seen. I don't know how the heck, I just realized it might be the battery for the laser pointer, but then I realized like, how the heck am I supposed to? Oh, there you go, the back opens. Yeah, it's the exact same battery. So this, they sent me an extra battery for the laser pointer. Thank you, I just, when these batteries run out, where do I buy these batteries? I thought this was a AAA, AA, this thing would accept AAA or AA, but where the heck am I supposed to buy these batteries from if I ever wanna recharge this thing? They gave me, um, uh, jiffy and like leverage something out. Oh, I just pulled that out Yeah, that's it guys. That is everything. That's actually uh, thank god This only cost me hundred and fifty dollars worth of Bitcoin Otherwise, this would have been a waste of money, but to be completely honest I, I I might I may see a lot of value inside that Masonic Bible that Masonic Bible looks really 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 interesting I kind of want to look into that the laser pointer is really cool uh, I kind of want to study all of these messages and all of these papers and like, I don't know if he's trying to tell me something. The, the, the creepiest thing that I saw was, um, this is the, the creepiest thing that I saw by far. It says, recycled, hang dead, don't say a word, sleep easy, it shows a star, and then on the bottom it says, I'll never tell. This thing is by far one of the creepiest things that I got, uh, other than the, the kill thing. This one says, yeah, this paper says kill, this paper says stop oh there's another paper attached we have another paper i am so sorry this paper says i am so sorry this one says stop please this one says love you lv that one says kill very weird seems like this person has a death wish against the girl uh if we put the pieces together i mean there was um, one of the, that thing that girls put on their head where is that you see i threw everything randomly in the basement i don't even know oh this thing this thing over here uh I guess, I, I guess this person's trying to insinuate that he hurt a woman, uh, which is kind of creepy. Oh, the creepiest part of them all, the Pringles container. Um, I kind of want to do this outside, but I, I have to, that would mean I have to move my phone, but let's just. It's a moment of truth, guys. Nah, no, nah, I'm doing it outside. I'm going to go do it outside. All right, so I'm outside now and I'm literally in the process of opening this. If there's any like bugs in here, I'm just gonna let them loose outside. Let them live free. Just don't be in my house, please. Oh my God, this is so gross. Um, yeah, moment of truth, guys. Three, two. Oh, another note. Okay, wait, nothing else in there? Making sure, I don't like I don't want to touch the walls, you know, you never know what people could do, man. People are clever. Nothing else inside there. I told you, those were chip crumbs on the bottom, but there's a note. Okay, I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to bring this note inside and read it to you guys. Because right now, I, I literally can't even unwrap this paper with... <laughs> I only have one hand holding and one hand holding the camera. And on this paper, it says, 
4681DF1A. Okay, 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 a y. Let like spelling the word okay. Then it's putting forty dot two seven two one one four, comma, minus eighty five decimal one three nine eight eight five. It says back. L a united at gmail dot com. Guys, can you can you please just see this? Use until it works. So it says, it's giving me an email and it's giving me what it looks like as a password and then it says use until it works. Whatever the hell that means. Just take a look at that. This is, I guess, it says front over here and the other one says back. So this is the front side. Uh, go ahead, use this, I don't care. It says use until it works. You guys can figure out where that's gonna work on. But that's the front and now this is the back. The back says 46A1DF1A, and then it says OK on the bottom. And then over here, it looks, it has a whole bunch of digits. I'll punch those in and see if they're coordinates. I'll find those on Google and see if those are any coordinates. It's interesting. 40 decimal 272114, comma, negative 85 decimal 139885. Very interesting, but that what was that's what was inside the Pringles container. Thank goodness it wasn't any insects because that would have just ruined my day. But even if there were any insects, I would have just let them out free outside. But again, thank God there wasn't. If you guys enjoyed that video, uh, subscribe to Crypto and WO and put on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Smash that like button, guys. I really appreciate everyone who's liking all the videos. You guys are the best. If you guys want me to do something like this again in the future and get a bigger and more expensive package, I've found multiple, multiple, multiple sellers. Just let me know in the comment section below. But this one here was kind of creepy. I kind of like the stuff that I got. That Masonic Bible, I don't know where else I would find that Masonic Bible. I don't know where else. I kind of like that laser pointer too. Um, I have to go through the stuff again because I already forgot half the stuff that I got. Short term memory loss. I appreciate if you guys made it this far into the video. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the future. Hoddle gang, hoddle gang, hoddle gang. <laughs>